Peter McGillicuddy, the number six, has passed a fitness test. And at number nine, there's Chris Kelly, the man whose goal beat Brighton, and the man whose talk has given an added edge to this intriguing tie. Leicester haven't allowed Kelly's taunts to upset them. Indeed, they allowed Leatherhead to use their training ground yesterday. The news from their team is that Keith Weller is now off the transfer list, but Jeff Blockley, their new signing, is not eligible for this round, so they're unchanged. The face of the Leatherhead manager, Billy Miller, just poking out there from the trainer's bench. Been in charge of the team for 10 years. So this classic David and Goliath battle about to get underway. Leatherhead decide to kick off, and should you be watching this match in black and white, Leicester are wearing the white stockings, and Leatherhead have the darker socks. They're playing from the right, the amateur side, in the first half. Woofenden tried to find Kelly. His cross for Leicester. Leatherhead, of course, originally drawn at home, have switched the tie to Filbert Street. And there goes Steve Earl for Leicester. And the bounce of the ball almost confusing the defenders. A very sticky top. There's so much rain has fallen. The pitch is bound to cut up. but this is Earl we've got round Cooper then and Weller couldn't make it Monroe given away face of the ball very hard to judge on this skiddy pitch this is Cooper Kelly Woofenden and the fullback sergeant. Oh, Warrington missed it! And Lavers, if he's got more power into it, might well have put that ahead in front. The goalkeeper came for the cross from Sargent and misjudged it completely. But it's not good weather for goalkeepers, this, and he's hurt his arm as well. Leicester uncertain at the back. That was Lavers. McGillicuddy! And it's there! The Amateurs have taken the lead through Peter McGillicuddy, the man who very nearly didn't play. 12 minutes gone, and the shock result is on. Leicester didn't get the ball away, and when the cross came over, McGillicuddy finished it off. So, Leatherhead, the side who put two league clubs out already, are threatening to strike a third and even more staggering blow. Here's Glover for Leicester. Peter McGillicuddy, number six, plays on the left-hand side. It was very nearly his first important touch, that, and he's put the amateurs in front. Foul by Reed on Worthington. Birchinall finds Glover. A good cross again, but Swallow came well. Kelly chasing and making it. And it could be on again. But Gilly Cuddy is free to the left. Number six is offside. But the Leicester defence was terribly stretched. Kelly made a ball his there that the defenders were hesitating over and the way was almost open for a second goal for Leatherhead. As you might expect from a side with so much to gain and nothing to lose, Leatherhead are fighting for every ball. That's all right, Lavers, McGillicuddy. Fighting for every ball in such a way that Leicester have got no time to settle. Foul was given against Malcolm Munro. Oh, 
Kelly got there. Chris Kelly has done what he said he would do, but even he must have doubted whether he would have made it 2-0 to Leatherhead in 27 minutes. Almost unbelievable. The first division side, two goals down, a beautifully blighted free kick, the depths of headers from Chris Kelly, so it wasn't all talk. And here's Lavers for Leatherhead. Leicester now in each other's way, and their morale for the moment is broken. Here's Earl. And look at that between Rope and Birchnall. Some sign there of the disarray in which Leicester find themselves. John Sun was the captain trying to sort it out. But how do you sort out a situation like this? Glover wins it back for Leicester. And they'll need spirit like that now. Oh, look at that from Kelly. Doyle's making a run. Cooper knocks it off to Reed so confidently. Well, they're trying to find some room. Gary Webb's tackle. And you would never think you were watching an amateur side. A side of part-timers. And there goes Kelly. Worthington, number 11, Glover, with Sargent going out there. Birchnall's coming up in support, just inside. That was Saddles. It drops nicely for John Swannell. Another sign that the gods are not on Leicester's side in this first half. Important challenge, that, from Dave Reid. And it's not for nothing that they call Leatherhead Kelly's heroes. What about that? Chris Kelly predicted a shock. He scored the second goal after McGillicuddy.